Hi everybody, I am here to do a full Bath and Body Works haul of 2017. I got a lot of fall slash Halloween stuff. Let me put a lot of stuff. I don't even know where to begin, honestly. I always go big for the fall and Christmas time. You know my hauls for, ha for Halloween and for the fall and Christmas, winter, all the biggest from Bath and Body Works. I always do it up crazy. Um, so yeah. So first I'm going to start with, um, hopefully this is bright enough. Okay, yeah, it should be bright enough. Okay, first I'm gonna start with, hmm, the one pocket block I got. So it's gonna be a mix of fall and Halloween stuff. I got a little of everything, pretty much. Yeah, a little of everything, so here we are. I got Ghoul Friends. In pocket back, scary berry. Okay, um, I've been using this for the last couple of few days, so that's why it's a little, you know, it's a little used up. Um, this is really cute packaging, and it smells like a gummy bear candy smell. Um, yes, it is, would you say it's Halloween fall? Probably not, but it's still very festive and smells very sweet and candy-like and it smells delicious. I love it on my hands. I think it's great. Um, I really do. Okay, um, now I'll do the one hand cream I got. So the one hand cream I got is pumpkin butter. Oh no, it's not pumpkin butter. It has pumpkin butter in it, but it's pumpkin cupcake hand cream. Um, yeah. So, hand cream and moisturizing. It doesn't say the uh, notes, but this was $4. And pumpkin cupcake's one of my favorites. You know, um, I love it in all forms, except for body care last year. Not that I didn't like it in body care. It smelled really good. It's just, it didn't smell like the pumpkin cupcake. You know, like it does in the wallflower and the candle. It, although this, I'll get into everything else, Bath and Body Works, other stuff I need to talk about later on. But right now, let's talk about the products. Mmm, smells so good. Oh my god, I love it. This is. Oh, it smells, I don't have the keynotes for this. I do have the keynotes for this and the hand soap coming up. So, you know. But the, the ingredients for this I don't have. Um, however, I think it's just like pumpkin, vanilla, spice type of stuff. It smells like a dream. It smells like a cupcake full pumpkin dream. I mean, it's, it's delicious. It's absolutely delicious and I wish. I know that coming out with body care, the packaging for body care, um, the new packaging for the body care line doesn't look that amazing to me. Um, not that it looks ugly, it just doesn't look like something that should be out for the fall. But whatever. Um, they have pumpkin cupcake in that collection and body care. And I, hopefully they upgraded it and made it smell more like the candle and stuff. Even though the candle this year smells like peppers, which is very weird. I'm very disappointed they changed the formula for pumpkin cupcake in the candle. But they did not change it for the hand cream, so that's good. Anyways, love that. Okay, so let's talk about now the two wallflowers I have. I do have three, but the one I have leaves burning right now, not burning, but in the Wolflower plug-in um, in the bathroom, so, and the Wolflower plug-in, I just have like a pumpkin. Um, that's burning, but I did get that this fall, so that was leaves, but the two I have that are, that um, I also bought are pumpkin cupcake and ap uh, pumpkin apple. Oh, you know, pumpkin cupcake I might have in this, yeah, vanilla buttercream pumpkin spice freshly baked cupcake, which is exactly what I said. So that says a cute little cupcake for that one, and then here has the pumpkins. These are my two, I think leaves, pumpkin cupcake, and pumpkin apple are my three favorite fall smells. They need to come with all three of them in body care and everything else, because this, these three, plus the leaves, is the best. It's the best. I love it. And I also got pumpkin cupcake wallflower for my grandma for her birthday, because she wanted like her... She wanted like a wallflower and a wallflower plug and all that stuff, so I got her the pumpkin cupcake smell, and she's gonna love it. Um, okay, so next I'm going to do, I guess I'll do the shower gels and the, sh and the body care. 
Yeah, we'll do body care next. Okay, so first, I got one shower gel in the Spice Pumpkin Cider. And everything has honey in it now. The full has pure honey. Now, do I think they actually put honey in the ingredients? No. But is it a cute aspect? And is the packaging adorable? Looks like a honeycomb? Yeah, it's adorable. It actually looks like pure honey, honestly. I mean, it does. But do I really think they actually put honey in it? No, I don't. But um, I think it's cute. Maybe they did put honey in it. I don't know, but I don't know. Bath & Butter sometimes says things, but they make try to make it sound like, you know, really fancy and cute, but are they really putting the stuff in it? I don't know. I can't say. But do I smell honey? No, I don't smell honey. Um, yeah, so this is one of the new full smells that came out this year. Uh, Spice Pumpkin Cider. This is my favorite one that came out um, alongside with all the other ones. Uh, Sweet Cinnamon and Pumpkin didn't come back, which I'm very surprised about. I'm thinking they're going to bring it back for Halloween, like maybe do um, like they did last year with Perfect Perfect Pumpkin Body Care. But they don't have Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin Body Care this year. It's very surprising. Spice Pumpkin Cider smells totally different than Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. Um, let's see. Yeah, what else do I want to say about this? Um, yeah, this is my favorite one that came out in the full collection this year. Um, I didn't like the flower one. Nails smelled good, but the flower one just wasn't full to me. Um, what else was there? There was an apple one, which smelled really good, but I think that was that was brought back. Um, I think I think this is the only new one that they had. Yeah, I think this was the only new one that they had. I, I'm pro probably sure about that. The smell. It smells really good. Um, I don't know if they've done this before. I feel like they have, but they, but it, they named it Spice Pumpkin Cider. I don't know. It smells... Hmm. I can't put my finger on it, but I have a f I've, I've smelled this, a smell like this before, but you really smell the, um, spice. You really smell the spice, and you do smell the pumpkin. And the cider is very... The apple smell is very ben below it, like it's very, like underneath it and I also got it in the body cream um the keynotes are heirloom pumpkin royal cinnamon apple cider roasted tonka bean and sponge sugar I do smell the pumpkin and I smell the royal cinnamon because it's spicy you would think it would smell like sweet cinnamon pumpkin but it doesn't it's reminding me of which is weird but it's reminding me of a little well not really I was gonna say it kind of reminded me of the uh, the velvet Chris the Christmas velvet. Oh, it was cold. I forgot what that one was called, but it was in body care that one year. The velvet, some red velvet cake or something. Yeah, it smells very similar. Like like you know how it's, yeah they pretty much smell like the same exact like the shower gel and the cream. Like there's really no um, sh note that stands out more in one or the other. They both smell exactly the same to me. Um, yeah, you smell the pumpkin, the cinnamon, and the apple cider is very below. But I actually really like it. I think um, even though the spice comes out the most, I actually think it smells very full-like and it smells really good. And I guess this is the replacement for sweet cinnamon pumpkin. I do believe sweet cinnamon pumpkins. Oh, they brought back marshmallow pumpkin latte. I forgot about that. But I already have. This is what. Ooh, I'm sorry if that made a noise. But, but, um, this is, like, almost all gone. This is gonna be in my full empties, I, I'm 100% certain. Yeah, I have a little bit left of this. Like, very little. This is from 2015 packaging, I think. Yeah. So, yeah, they brought about that back, and I need more backup to that, actually, because I love that smell. But, yeah, that, that's, um, Spice Pumpkin Cider, and in the cream it says pumpkin spice and everything nice, with pure honey. So, do I smell honey? No, I don't smell honey, but whatever. Um, and then I got two body creams, which, um, not body creams, body, creamy body washes, because I never had a creamy body wash before. I've had body scrubs and I didn't really like them that much, but the creamy body wash is like, let me give them a try. So I have two of them, and you know, they smell actually really, really good. Um, I have Salt Caramel Apricot, and, oh, it's dripping, and Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. 
and creamy body wash foam. I'm using this one up, so it's like really, it's it's like halfway down almost. I feel like it's very much like, give me one second. Forgot one thing. Sorry about that. So yeah, the cream body washes are a big hit. I love the cream body washes. I think they're um they're absolutely delicious. Salted caramel Epcot is one of the other new ones. So these are the two new ones that came out this with plus the floral one, which I don't like. These are the two new ones. Salted caramel Epcot and Spice Pumpkin Cider. These are my two favorites. They came out this full. However, my out of the two that I like the most is probably the salted caramel apricot because it just smells so sweet and so delicious. The keynotes of buttery caramel, sea salt, apricot, brandy, maple, wood, and vanilla bean. You just smell like um, a full, sweet, caramelized candy treat. Like, it's so good. Ah, there's water coming out all over the place. Oh my god, of course, of course. Of course, I have to clean that up later. Okay, so I can't open that up because that's coming out all over the place. So let me just put that over there. Holy shit. And then this is the pumpkin latte and marshmallow. Now, I do like it. I do. I do like the creamy body wash. I think it's very moisturizing and it lathers up very well. And, you know, I really do like it. I still think shower gels are the best, but creamy body washes are very, very good. And I will definitely be purchasing more of those. Okay, so in the one small body cream I got, which was in salted caramel apricot, it, and it says pure honey again, is a salted caramel apricot. I got the mini cream, body cream. This I can smell it in. Mmm. Smells so good. It's very strong. It's very strong, but it's very sweet. It's very potent. Like, you have to really be into strong, sweet smells to like this one. But I do have to say, it does bring out the fall. Like, it smells like fall, and I, I like I like smells in Bath & Body Works that smell like fall that I get, because, you know, that's why you get the smells for fall, because you want to smell like the fall. So now it's the hand soap time, and I'll do candles last. This is going to be long, I told you guys. So the first hand soap is Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte, and the reason why it's so small and there's, like, a little left is because this is the one I've been using up in the bathroom all month long of September. And, yeah... This says it's with pumpkin butter. Now, again, it's like with pure honey. Is it really with pumpkin butter? I don't know. But yeah, this is, we all love this. So, so we celebrate some fall with creamy pumpkin, toasted marshmallow, and warm praline. So we all love this one. Um, I do, the packaging this year for everything, to be completely honest, I don't like. I don't like the Five Fragrances packaging at all. I hate it. Packaging and everything else is is good like except for maybe these hand soap packagings I don't like but I do like the other hand soap packagings that I'll be showing you very shortly and I like all the body care packaging except for the fine fragrance mist um they are just really ugly this year they really are they're just hideous anyway so yeah there's probably two more uses out of that hand soap and it'll be done the last pumpkin butter hand soap I got is um, Spice Apple Bourbon, and this one's very nice. This one's very, very nice. I have not seen this come out in any other forms except for the hand soap, so hopefully they come out with candle and other stuff, but right now it's just the hand soap. So, okay, Juicy Apple Cinnamon and a Touch of Bourbon. So yeah, this smells very um, delicious. I mean, one of my favorite apple smells that they have there. It's just very sweet and apple-y. It smells like cinnamon applesauce. Like, it just smells like a sweet cinnamon apple cider. It's just delicious. It's delicious. It's absolutely delicious. I freaking love it. Well, I should say, which into rather for at least 20 seconds to rinse well. Okay. Good thing they gave you a little test thing at the, at the back of there. Alright, so the next hand soaps are not pumpkin butter. I have two deep cleansing and the rest of foaming. So the one, the first deep cleansing is pumpkin cupcake, which we all love. Oh, and I do have pumpkin cupcake. Yeah, and, and the hands up. I forgot about this. Honey, it's fall. Crisp air, your favorite sweater, changing leaves. It's our favorite time of the year. It is my favorite time of the year. There's, okay, it's baked pumpkin and with vanilla frosting. Yeah, I love this. I get the hands up in this every year. Mmm, it just smells so good. It really does. Like this. Ugh, I love pumpkin cupcake. Oh my god, it's the best, the best. Okay, and the second uh, deep cleansing is Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. I figured, let me get Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin and deep cleansing because 
you know, this is the only really thing it came out with except the candle. Yeah, it smells so good. It smells just like sweet some pumpkin in every form. Um, so yeah. And it's pump pumpkin, cinnamon, and sugar cane. It's great. It's great stuff. And I do like the packaging on these hand soaps, even though I would have rather pumpkin cupcake had like a like a cupcake with a pumpkin on it like they have done in the past. You know, they always change the packaging. Sometimes it's better to stick with the packaging you already had because you know if it's nice and it's pretty you don't have to keep changing it because then you keep changing it and it's like now it looks ugly you know and then this one packaging's all right pumpkins but i've seen better packaging for sweet and pumpkin hand soaps i have um last full hand soap i have and it's foaming the rest of halloween it's chris morning air i got this last year for my grandma for her birthday and I loved it and I never got one for myself so now I have one for myself and it is um really good pine juniper and a hint of pear so let's smell it mmm it smells very clean I smell a woodsy apple slash pear smell to it Yeah, it smells really good. It smells like an apple orchard, fresh in a fresh fall um, atmosphere with the fall, the leaves changing and the fresh fall air, and the fruity pear and fruity apples. That's what this smells like. Delicious, delicious. The last three hand soaps are Halloween, and the first one I'll do is School Friends because I did the pocket back in this. So this is the pocket back. Is the pack of back. So yeah, that's the hand soap. I think it's so cute. I love it. It really, um, I love Halloween packaging for Bath and Body Works. I think it's so adorable and I really love how it decorates the, um, the room and the bathroom. It smells so good. It, it, it smells like candy. It smells like candy you get on Halloween. Like a like um, a Laffy Taffy candy, strawberry, I don't know, berry type of candy. I don't know, it just, it just smells so delicious. Dark strawberries, ghostly peonies, and spine chill chilling citrus. Now this does smell, it reminds me a little bit of sweet pea, and I think that is the um, ghostly peonies. I think that's what that is. It smells a little bit like sweet pea, but um, it's very sweet and fruity, this one. Love that one. Second hand soap is, is a new one. It's called Better Have My Candy. And it says, boo, this Halloween scent will cast a spell on you. Better Have My Candy. And the key notes on this is eerie pear, sinful cinnamon, and haunted apple. Mmm. So. Oh my god. You definitely smell the pear and you smell the apple mixed together. Um, and then it has that little spice undertone note to it. It smells really good. This one smells like a caramel green apple. I don't know. It just smells so good. I, I really like this one. This one's good. This one's a winner. This is one of my new favorite ones. I might have to pick up multiple of that one. And the last one is Vampire Blood, which comes out every year. And this one is Red Berries, Night Blooming Jasmine, Dark Plum. And this one, if I remember, smells like gummy bears. Yeah, it smells like berry, like um, cherry gummy bears. It smells really good. I love the packaging and the glitter and then the shiny too. I love Halloween. Okay, and then I got two candles and one candle holder. The one candle holder holder I got is um, full leaves, the pedestal, full leaves, cute. Love it. I put the candle in there and it look, it's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. The two candles I got. Oh, it's like stuff all over my hands. The two candles I got is um, one Halloween one, which is called Happy Halloween. Um, it has perfect pumpkin, black cat's clove, ghostly vanilla, batty brown sugar. This is supposed to smell like sweet cinnamon pumpkin. Love the packaging. It's black with a spiderweb top. And I love the packaging. I love it. They had two other Halloween ones. They both smelled really good, but this is the one I got. Cause this is one that smells most like fall, like not fall, Halloween. Okay, so this does not smell like sweet cinnamon pumpkin. This smells exactly like all I smell is the clove and the brown sugar. 
It's sweet, but it's very spicy. I mean, that cinnamon and clove, or whatever that is, comes out the most in this candle. So, I think they did that deliberately, so it smelled more like, um, more like Halloween. I feel like, I like spicy clove cinnamon is really like, um, I don't know, it's like, I feel like it smells more like a Halloween type of smell. Very spicy. I like it. I like it. I think it's perfect for the Halloween season. I think it's really nice. And then the last candle I got, the second one, is pumpkin apple. Love the packaging and I love the tip. It's like a sweater detail. Maybe it's a sweater detail, like a haystack detail. This one has red delicious apple, full pumpkin, fresh ground cinnamon, and clove vibes. And pumpkin apples, again, top three favorite full smells. Pumpkin apple, pumpkin cupcake, and leaves. And this smells delicious, like just like pumpkin apple. I mean, both of them together smell the best. I, I love these two smells together, pumpkin apple. It's perfect for the fall. And I love the pumpkin with the red door. It's so cute. Turn around the apples and the full leaves. Oh, I love fall and Halloween and everything about it. Okay, so that's it. I have to go. It's very long, this video, so I better cut this short right now. I have to clean up the water that's built out of the cream, creamy body wash. Okay, so... I love you guys. If you're wondering, the lipstick I was wearing, it's Jeffree Star's Unicorn Blood. So, there it is. Love you guys, and I'll see you guys very soon. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the fall slash Halloween Bath and Body Works haul, and I'll see you guys shortly. Bye.